Um, can you guys hear me good? Yeah. All right. Sorry. Hi, my name is Jay Sims, and I am a junior at Omaha Central High School. Oh, cool. <laughs> and this poem is titled, My Feet Walk Alone. Fragmented in forlornness, my feet walk alone upon the scarlet red bricks to humanity. Misplaced in a crowd of empathetic embraces, I am entirely paralyzed. Her delicate fingers enwound around my stubbornly red and rough patch of flesh. Her mouth moves like chaotically profound tidal waves that enthrall my ever so ocean deep desires. And I could taste how it felt to let her in. Her sunken and penetrating eyes confront my destructive windows and my tenebrous and hollow soul has been rescued. The irresolent and corrupt organ that lies between my breasts whimpers at the consideration of her absence. Clenched teeth begin to viciously chatter and unblinking brown eyes mutate into bloodshot clocks submerged in bathtubs filled with time. Her ambrosial scent lingers in the Arctic air and I remark her in human beauty. What they never reveal in fairy tales is that sometimes eternity is enlaced between the seams of glass coffins instead of crystal slippers. And as a tear glided down my cheek at the realization of the knife in my chest, my stiff cheekbones heightened and the curvature between my lips appeared. And I smiled, for she might have saved the world from me, but she did not save us from each other. Warm and impure shards of red cut the cold and dull brown soot that I now lay upon. And the moon's ethereal shade upon her revealed a single drop of grief welled in the corner of her red-rimmed eyes as my heartbeat slowed. Her feet now walk alone upon the evergreen strip to Olympus while I arrive at the gates of Tartarus. Because I would rather shake Hades nimble fingers than to ever see her suffer. But now I know why Lucifer was God's favorite, because there's nothing more beautiful when truth meets tragedy. Thank you. <laughs>